some time. So this is really the finality of that process. And then the journey, of course, continues. It continues. And I was prepared, as I was preparing their imagination, and when you came into my life, I realized that what I had always thought was happiness be the love of my life. First Corinthians 13 talks to us about love and says the following. Love is patient throughout their lives. You see, as family and friends, you are the ones who have taught them how to love. Notice because Michael will notice. And Michael, you're saying today that your life will not be without witness because Chelsea will be that witness. And together, you'll witness the growth of your lives and your family throughout the moments that will take your breath away. I know it means so much to them that all of you who mean so much to them can be here to share and celebrate with them on their wedding day. It's been a wonderful journey for me personally to be working with them in preparation for their special day. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. Perfection comes, the imperfect disappears. And now these three remain. Faith. And I believe that they're sure of their decisions. And I know by your presence here today, you share in that same sentiment. So Michael, I'd like you to look into her beautiful eyes as you repeat after me. I know it's going to be difficult to concentrate. What? Oh, Chelsea. Today I promise. To love and honor you. To love and honor you. All of my life. All my life. To give you. To give you. My strength. And to ask for your words. For yours. In return. To help you. To help you. In good times. And in bad times. And in sorrow. To establish a home. One of love and understanding. I give you all my trust. All my trust. And ask you. And ask you. To accept me. And to accept me. As your husband. I do. Well, that's a good start. She said I do. <laughs> he was sweating that one a little bit. <laughs> we shouldn't have done that shot before the ceremony. I don't know. We need another one. Okay. Right after the ceremony. Chelsea, I'd like you to look into his handsome eyes as you repeat after me. Michael. Today I promise, today I promise to love and honor you all of my life. To give you my strength and to ask for yours in return. To help you in good times and in bad times, to be by your side, in joy and in sorrow, to establish a home, one of love and understanding, I give you all of my trust and ask you to accept me as your wife. Give me a minute, I'll think about it. I'll make a All right, I accept. <laughs> May I have to remind us that love itself is an act of giving and receiving. These everlasting circles are the natural symbols for enduring love. They represent to all the bond of marriage into which the two of you are about to enter. It is a reaching for yours, still giving you, which you both have selected, the rose that says the words, I still love you. It is at this time that you should reflect on the joy and happiness you both share today. If there is any, as husband and wife, that that gift would be a single rose. At this time, please exchange your first gift as husband and wife. Notice that it's placed ever so gently over Chelsea's. Also notice that your hand is larger than Chelsea's. But also know that this is the last time you'll have the upper hand. 
it's great. I'm now going to invite the moms to come up and join us, and they're going to present a single rose to the bride and groom. Thank you, moms. The rose has always been considered a symbol of love and means only and wife. You may now kiss the love of your life. One more kiss for the crowd. Another kiss for the crowd. Get your bubbles out. Blow them bubbles. One more kiss while they get the bubbles ready. Come on, another kiss. I now present to you Michael and Chelsea Rancano. Come on, let's get that applause going. Yeah. This is a Super Bowl wedding. a lot of drinks this evening to prevent the coronavirus from spreading. <laughs>